the Philadelphia Mafia has a long and stretching history, dating back to the early 19th century. The city has been home to some of the most powerful organized crime families in the United States, making it one of the most influential cities for organized crime in the world. The earliest form of organized crime in Philadelphia started in 1839, when Giuseppe Esposito became the first known organized crime boss in the city. He was the founder of the Esposito crime family, which remained a powerful force in the city until the 1920s. Throughout this time, the Espositos were involved in many criminal activities, including bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. During the Prohibition era, the Esposito crime family was one of the main beneficiaries of the illegal alcohol trade. They used their control over the illegal alcohol market in Philadelphia to gain immense wealth and power. By the end of the 1930s, the Esposito crime family was one of the most powerful organized crime families in the United States. In the 1940s, the Esposito crime family was challenged by a new organized crime syndicate, led by Angelo Bruno. Bruno was an Italian immigrant who had worked his way up from a small-time hoodlum, to the boss of one of the most powerful organized crime families in the city. He was considered a masterful negotiator and was able to keep the peace between the rival gangs in the city. By the 1950s, the Philadelphia Mafia was firmly entrenched in the city and had become a powerful force in the local economy. They controlled the illegal alcohol trade, gambling, and prostitution, as well as having their hands in various legitimate businesses. The Mafia had become so powerful that they were able to influence politics and institutions in the city. In the 1960s, the Mafia was challenged by the emergence of new organized crime groups, such as the Black Mafia and the Italian Mob. These groups had their own agendas and were not afraid to challenge the Mafia's dominance in the city. This led to a period of intense violence and competition between the different organized crime groups. By the 1970s, the Mafia had regained its dominance in the city and was again in control of the illegal alcohol market. However, the Mafia's control was not absolute, and the emergence of new organized crime groups meant that there was still competition in the city. The 1980s saw the Mafia expand their influence further into legitimate businesses, as well as into political and governmental circles. They had become a force to be reckoned with in the city, and their influence was felt throughout the states. The 1990s saw the Mafia continue to expand their power and influence in the city, as well as branching out into other cities in the United States. They had become a powerful force in the organized crime world and were involved in a variety of criminal activities. Today, the Mafia is still a powerful force in the city of Philadelphia. They are still involved in a variety of criminal activities, though their influence is not as strong as it once was. Despite their reduced power, the Mafia is still a major player in the organized crime world and their influence continues to be felt throughout the city.